Hello and welcome to the RM Network, where today we are talking about The Mandalorian Season 2 Finale, Chapter 16, entitled The Rescue. Now, if you guys didn't already know, this video is going to be chock full of spoilers without the entire episode. I'm going to be honest, my heart is still racing. I literally just finished the episode and now... I'm going to break it all down for you guys. I loved this episode. First things first, uh, the attack on Pershing's ship was a lot of fun, especially the little confrontation between the clear Imperial loyalist and Gina Carano, who have very opposing ideologies. <laughs> the fact that he was on the Death Star when Alderaan blew up, it was a moment where I was like, oh man, they are really just diving into this history and really what makes uh, Cara Dune tick. And it was a great scene. So they capture Dr. Pershing, and then they plan their raid on Moff Gideon's cruiser. Before they do so, they have to go pick up Bo-Katan, and I can't remember uh, Sasha Banks' character's name for the life of me, I'm sorry. But they go pick up the two of them, and then Boba and Sasha Banks' character do have a little bit of a scuffle uh, regarding Boba's Mandalorian lineage, given that he is a clone of Jango. I liked the little Bo-Katan's reference regarding the fact that, oh, I've seen your face a thousand times before. I was like, oh, that's fantastic. But they all come to peace with it, and then they go to raid Moff Gideon's cruiser, and this raid essentially goes how you expect it to go. Moff Gideon has the child at the Darksaber's tip, and the rest of them are going to essentially raid the bridge where... Uh, they assume Moff Gideon is. He is not there. He is with Din and the child in the brig. Din only wants the child. That is his main priority. But then him and Moff Gideon obviously get into a scuffle. Din has his uh, Beskar spear. Moff Gideon has the Darksaber. And Din eventually defeats Moff Gideon in combat and gets the Darksaber. Now, he doesn't really understand any of this or what it means or the importance of it. But we do as Star Wars fans. But when he brings Moff Gideon to the brig, Bo-Katan is essentially like, what the hell? Because Din has the Darksaber in hand, moving Moff Gideon in. And this is when Moff Gideon's plan really begins to unfold in what I thought would be a very big confrontation in this episode. Moff Gideon informs Din that the Darksaber can only be wielded by somebody who has bested the person who held it before. And Bo-Katan is like, yeah, he's right. And now, if I were to want the Darksaber, I would have to best you. Din isn't really having any of it. He's like, yeah, I yield. Don't worry. You can have it. Whatever. But both Moff Gideon and Bo-Katan know the truth that if Bo-Katan wants it, she is going to have to best Din, which I thought was going to be a moment where this is really going to come to blow. And honestly, it might next season. But right now we have bigger concerns. There are a battalion of dark troopers on their tail. And just as it seems that all hope is lost, a soul X-Wing flies into the ship and from here on out, my heart is still racing from the revelation that we got Luke Skywalker portrayed again by Mark Hamill. He is de-aged. He cuts through the battalion of Dark Troopers and essentially he takes Grogu. Obviously, the Grogu-Din relationship is of vast importance. It is the heart and soul of this series. And essentially, Luke tells Din, he's like, he's waiting for your permission to go. Din and him say their final goodbyes, and Din takes off his helmet in front of Grogu, in front of everybody, which I was so happy about. He is not any longer a child of the Watch. He is just a pure Mandalorian. He is Grogu's father, and he has to say goodbye. He says goodbye. He says, I'll see you again, I promise. And also with Luke is R2-D2, who I was so excited to see. I was so happy to see the two of them back together again. It was great to see Luke in action. And honestly, I am so curious as to see where season three goes. Because this felt like this could be a series finale. Even the fact that the end credits, there is no concept art. It is just the credits over black. And I was just astounded by this entire episode. The majority of the episode felt similar to where I had imagined it would go, but the ending, the fact that Luke actually did take Rogu, it, I'm still not sure where we're going to go next season. I am baffled. I have so many questions. I want to watch it again and again and again. It was so great to see Mark Hamill back. It was so great to see Grogu and Din have a moment without the helmet on. And everything about that final, I don't know, five, ten minutes was just 
fantastic. It was pure Star Wars. It was what I love about the franchise. But those are just my quick thoughts after having seen this episode. I don't know how I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Let me know in the comments sections what were your thoughts on the Season 2 finale. Let me know down below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you when new videos of ours go up. And make sure you check back in tomorrow during the day to find our full breakdown of the video. Me and my brother Peter will be breaking it down scene by scene. What we think is important. What we think next season is going. But, whew, you guys, this was a doozy of a finale. Thank you so much for watching this video and any video we put out here. And may the Force be with you. Always.